Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling Chapter 8 This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org Read by Tim Bulkley of BigBible.org Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling Chapter 8 How the Alphabet Was Made The week after Taffy My Metalumai we will still call her Taffy, best beloved, made that little mistake about her daddy's spear and the stranger man and the picture letter and all, she went carp fishing again with her daddy. Her mummy wanted her to stay at home and help hang up hides to dry on the big drying poles outside their Neolithic cave. But Taffy slipped away down to her daddy quite early, and they fished. Presently she began to giggle, and her daddy said, Don't be silly, child. But wasn't it inciting? said Taffy. Don't you remember how the head chief puffed out his cheeks, and how funny the nice stranger man looked with the mud in his hair? Well, I do, said Tegumai. I had to pay two deer skins, soft ones with fringes, to the stranger man for the things we did to him. We didn't do anything, said Taffy. It was Mummy and the other near the lake ladies, and the mud. We won't talk about that, said her daddy. Let's have lunch. Taffy took a marrowbone and sat mousy quiet for ten whole minutes, while her daddy scratched on pieces of birch bark with a shark's tooth. Then she said, Daddy, I've thinked of a secret surprise. You make a noise, any sort of noise. Ah, said Tegumai. Will that do to begin with? Yes, said Taffy. You look just like a carp fish with its mouth open. Say it again, please. Ah, 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 said her daddy. Don't be rude, my daughter. I'm not meaning rude, really and truly, said Taffy. It's part of my secret surprise thing. Do say ah, daddy, and keep your mouth open at the end, and lend me that tooth. I'm going to draw a carp fish's mouth wide open. What for? said her daddy. Don't you see? said Taffy, scratching away on the bark. That will be our little secret surprise. When I draw a carp-fish with his mouth open, in the smoke at the back of our cave, if Mummy doesn't mind, it will remind you of that R noise. Then we can play that it was me jumped out of the dark and surprised you with that noise, same as I did in the beaver swamp last winter. Really? said her daddy, in the voice that grown-ups use when they truly are attending. Go on, Taffy. Oh, bother, she said. I can't draw all of a carp-fish. But I can draw something that means a carp-fish's mouth. Don't you know how they stand on their heads, rooting in the mud? Well, here's a pretend carp-fish. We can play that the rest of him is drawn. Here's just his mouth, and that means ah. And she drew this. One. That's not bad, said Togumai, and scratched on his own piece of bark for himself. But you've forgotten the feeler that hangs across his mouth. But I can't draw, Daddy. You needn't draw anything of him except just the opening of his mouth and the feeler across. Then we'll know he's a carp-fish, because the perches and trouts haven't got feelers. Look here, Taffy. And he drew this. Two. Now I'll copy it, said Taffy. Will you understand this when you see it? Perfectly, said her Daddy. And she drew this. Three, and I'll be quite as surprised when I see it anywhere, as if you'd jumped out from behind a tree and said, Ah! Now make another noise, said Taffy, very proud. Yah! said her daddy, very loud. Hm! said Taffy, that's a mixty noise. The end part is Ah! carpfish mouth. But what can we do about the front part? Yah! 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 and Ah! Yah! It's very like the carp-fish mouth noise. Let's draw another bit of the carp-fish and join em, said her daddy. He was quite incited, too. No, if they're joined, I'll forget. Draw it separate, daddy. Draw his tail. If he's standing on his head, the tail will come first. Besides, I think I can draw tails easiest, said Taffy. A good notion, said Tegumai. Here's a carp-fish tail for the year noise. And he drew this. Four. I'll try now, said Taffy. Remember, I can't draw like you, Daddy. Will it do if I just draw the split part of the tail and the sticky-down line for where it joins? 
and she drew this five her daddy nodded his eyes were shiny bright with excitement that's beautiful she said now make another noise daddy oh said daddy very loud that's quite easy said taffy you make your mouth all round like an egg or a stone so an egg or a stone will do for that you can't always find eggs or stones we'll have to scratch around something like this one and he drew this six my gracious said taffy what a lot of noise pictures we've made carp mouth carp tail and egg now make another noise daddy Shh, said her daddy and frowned to himself but taffy was too incited to notice that's quite easy she said scratching on the bark eh what said her daddy i meant i was thinking and i didn't want to be disturbed it's a noise just the same it's the noise a snake makes daddy when it's thinking and doesn't want to be disturbed let's make the shh noise a snake will this do and she drew this seven there she said that's another spry secret when you draw a hissy snake by the door of your little back cave where you mend the spears i'll know you're thinking hard and i'll come in most mousy quiet and if you draw it on a tree by the river when you're fishing i'll know you want me to walk most most mousy quiet so as not to shake the banks perfectly true said tegomai and there's more to this game than you think taffy dear i've a notion that your daddy's daughter has hit upon the finest thing that there ever was since the tribe of tegumai took to using shark's teeth instead of flints for their spearheads i believe we've found out the big secret of the world why said taffy and her eyes shone too with incitement i'll show said her daddy what's water in the tegumai language ya yeah, of course and it means river too like wagai ya the Wagai River. What is bad water that gives you fever if you drink it? Black water, swamp water. Yo, of course. Now look, said her daddy, suppose you saw this scratched by the side of a pool in the beaver swamp, and he drew this. Eight. Carp tail and round egg. Two noises mixed. Yo, bad water, said Taffy. Of course I wouldn't drink that water, because I'd know you said it was bad but i needn't be near the water at all i might be miles away hunting still it will be just the same as if you stood there and said go away taffy or you'll get fever all that in a carpfish tail and a round egg oh daddy we must tell mummy quick and taffy danced all round him not yet said tegumai not till we've gone a little further let's see yo is bad water and so is food cooked on the fire isn't it and he drew this nine yes snake and egg said taffy so that means dinner's ready if you saw that scratched on a tree you'd know it was time to come to the cave so'd i my winky said tegumai that's true too but wait a minute i see a difficulty so means come and have dinner but show means the drying poles where we hang our hides horrid old drying poles said taffy i hate helping to hang heavy hot hairy hides on them if you drew the snake and egg and I thought it meant dinner, and I came in from the wood, and found that it meant I was to help Mummy hang the two hides on the drying poles, what would I do? You'd be cross, so'd Mummy. We must make a new picture for show. We must draw a spotty snake that hisses, shh, shh, and we'll play that the plain snake only hisses, shh. I couldn't be sure how to put in the spots, said Taffy and perhaps if I'm in a hurry you might just leave them out. I'd think it was so when it was show, and then Mummy would catch me just the same. No, I think we'd better draw a picture of the horrid high drying poles their very selves, and make quite sure. I'll put them in just after the hissy snake. Look. And she drew this. Ten. Perhaps it's safest. It's like our drying poles, anyhow, said her daddy, laughing. Now I'll make a new noise with the snake and the drying poles sound in it. I'll say, she, that's Tegumai for spear, Taffy. And he laughed. Don't make fun of me, said Taffy, as she thought of her picture letter and the mud and the stranger man's hair. You draw it, Daddy. We won't have beavers or hills this time, eh? said her Daddy. I'll just draw a straight line for my spear. And he drew this. Eleven. Even Mummy couldn't mistake that for me being killed. "'Please don't, Daddy,' 
It makes me out.